In late 2023, Sweden's defense landscape took a significant step forward with the Swedish Defense Material Administration placing an order valued at approximately 300 million SEK, roughly 28 to 29 million USD, with Saab AB for the Mobile Short Range Air Defense System. This contract, spanning 2024 to 2026, underscores Sweden's commitment to bolstering its air defense capabilities in response to evolving regional security dynamics, particularly following its 2024 accession to NATO. The MShorad system, designed to counter a range of airborne threats from drones to armored helicopters, is a cornerstone of Sweden's efforts to enhance mobile defense for its armed forces. As of mid-2025, the program has made steady progress, with key milestones in integration, testing, and strategic alignment, positioning Sweden to meet its defense objectives in an increasingly volatile geopolitical environment. The Emishorad system is a sophisticated, mobile air defense solution tailored to protect ground forces from modern aerial threats, including unmanned aerial vehicles, loitering munitions, and low-flying aircraft. The system comprises three core components, the mobile radar unit equipped with Saab's Giraffe 1X 3D radar, the mobile firing unit utilizing the RBS-70NG missile system, or IRIS-T SLS missiles, and the ground-based air defense command and control system for rapid threat evaluation and engagement. The Giraffe 1X radar can detect targets up to 75 kilometers away and track over 100 air tracks simultaneously while the RBS-70NG offers a 9-kilometer interception range and a 5-kilometer altitude capability. The Iris TSLS, integrated into one configuration, enhances the system's versatility. The GB-8C2 system enables missile launches within 5 seconds, ensuring swift responses in dynamic battlefield conditions. These components are mounted on the BVS-10 armored all-terrain vehicle designated BV-410 in Sweden, which provides STANAG Level 2 ballistic protection and exceptional mobility across diverse terrains, making it ideal for protecting mobile combat units. The 2023 order includes two distinct MSORAD configurations as part of a demonstrator program to define Sweden's future mobile air defense requirements. The first configuration features two systems, each equipped with three RBS-70NG missiles mounted on the BVS-10's roof, offering a proven, laser-guided missile solution already in use by the Swedish Armed Forces. The second configuration, known as Elden Het 98, includes two systems with four IRIS-T SLS missiles mounted on the rear of the BVS-10, paired with the MRU to form the elv nor system. This dual configuration approach allows FMV to evaluate both missile systems' performance in real-world conditions, ensuring flexibility and interoperability with NATO allies. The demonstrator program is a critical step in refining Sweden's air defense strategy, with findings expected to inform future procurement decisions and potentially lead to larger-scale deployments. Progress on the MSHORAD order has been marked by significant advancements in integration and testing. Prior to the 2023 contract, Saab conducted successful live-fire tests in Karlskoga, Sweden, in August 2022, demonstrating the system's ability to detect, track, and engage multiple targets. These tests built on earlier integration efforts with the Czech company Svoss, which integrated MSORAD components onto the Mars vehicle between March 2021 and March 2022. The transition to the BVS-10 platform for the Swedish order has been seamless, leveraging the vehicle's robust design and prior use in Swedish forces. FMV has indicated that initial deliveries for the demonstrator program are on track to begin in 2025, with full operational deployment potentially starting in 2026. The integration of the Giraffe 1X radar, RBS-70NG, and IRIS-T SLS missiles onto the BVS-10 has been a focal point, ensuring that the systems operate cohesively under demanding conditions. The GBAD C2 system's automation capabilities have also been refined to enhance operator efficiency, reducing response times in high-pressure scenarios. 
A notable development linked to the MSORAD program occurred in July 2025, when Saab secured a follow-on order from FMV for additional RBS-70 NG systems and missiles, valued at 1.5 billion SAK, approximately 158.4 million USD. This order, with deliveries planned for 2027 to 2028, includes equipment to facilitate future integration into MSORAD solutions, signaling FMV's long-term commitment to the system. The additional RBS-70NG systems will enhance Sweden's existing inventory, which is already in use across its air defense units, and provide a foundation for scaling up MSORAD deployments. This follow-on contract also reflects growing confidence in the system's performance, as demonstrated in earlier tests and its adoption by other nations, such as Lithuania, which ordered MSHORAD systems in 2024 for 1.3 billion CK. Sweden's NATO membership has significantly shaped the MSHORAD program's strategic importance. As a NATO member, Sweden is aligning its defense systems with alliance standards, ensuring interoperability with partners like Finland, Norway, and Lithuania. The MSHORAD system's modular design allows it to integrate with various platforms, making it an attractive option for allied forces. Its focus on short-range threats complements Sweden's broader air defense strategy, which includes medium-range systems like the Iris T SLM and Patriot. The system's ability to counter drones and loitering munitions is particularly relevant in the Baltic region, where such threats have become increasingly prevalent due to regional tensions. Sweden's investment in MSORAD also aligns with its contributions to NATO's collective defense, particularly in securing the Arctic and Baltic Sea regions against potential Russian aggression. Despite the program's progress, challenges remain. The integration of foreign components, such as the Iris T SLS missiles, requires careful coordination to ensure compatibility with Swedish systems. Supply chain constraints, a global issue for defense industries, could impact delivery timelines, particularly as demand for air defense systems surges due to conflicts like the war in Ukraine. Additionally, the demonstrator program's outcomes will be critical in determining the scale of future MSORAD acquisitions, as FMV evaluates cost-effectiveness and performance against emerging threats. The reliance on the BVS-10 platform, while advantageous for mobility, necessitates ongoing maintenance and logistical support to ensure operational readiness. The MSORAD program is a testament to Sweden's defense industry prowess, with Saab leveraging its expertise in radar, missile and command systems to deliver a cutting-edge solution. The system's export potential is evident, with Lithuania's 2024 order highlighting its appeal to NATO allies. As deliveries approach in 2025 to 2026, the demonstrator program will provide valuable insights into the system's operational capabilities, potentially shaping Sweden's air defense strategy for decades. The EMS Shorad order reflects Sweden's proactive approach to addressing modern battlefield challenges, ensuring its forces remain agile and protected in an era of rapid technological and geopolitical change. For the latest updates, stakeholders should monitor announcements from Saab and FMV as further details on testing and deployment are expected to emerge in the coming months.